Biomechanical Composites is pleased at the opportunity to tell you about its dynamic response orthotic system. In a drive to create an energy storing orthosis, utilizing carbon fiber technology, we have developed this extraordinary orthotic system. Prosthetics has been using the energy storing characteristics of carbon fiber for the past 20 years. The orthotic industry has been slow to adopt this technology. There are prefabricated orthosis that utilize the carbon fiber technology, but the energy storing characteristics they provide are very limited. It is only with the ability to customize each individual orthosis to the strength, shape, and deficit positioning of each individual patient that you can actually utilize the energy storing characteristics and maximize its outcomes for the patient. The Dynamic Response Orthotic System, which puts all of these into a custom engineered orthosis for each individual patient, has extremely dramatic outcomes. Not only are the dynamic characteristics being utilized to replace calf group weakness or absence, giving the patient propulsion, but as we use the dynamics of these materials, they affect the patient's lower extremity in all three planes, giving them back control of their extremity, allowing them to return to normal biomechanical ambulation, which increases their proprioceptive balance. The following patient video is a patient with CMT. He had an onset over a short period of time, losing his calf group function in accordance with the deficit positioning of his foot. The patient was quite hesitant towards needing an orthosis and getting to that level of disability. When he actually received his dynamic response orthosis, he was so excited with his increased functional gains that he went home and made this video and put it on the internet to tell other patients about what he had found. Okay, here's a video of me walking with no braces on. This is just my regular old shoes. No fun at all. Okay, here's my standing regular shoes. A little bit unstable. I always, I always have to step back or forward to keep my balance. It's a little difficult. And this is what they look like. No problem walking. No problem standing. I can even stand like this without losing my balance. I'm not trying to like stand really hard right now. Usually it feels like someone's pushing on my shoulders and I'm about to fall or I need a chair. Completely stable. I love my new braces. I don't get tired. I don't look for a chair everywhere I go. Um, I can walk for long distances. It doesn't wear me out. I don't feel like I need to sit down every five minutes every time that I go to a mall. I can actually walk around the mall or driving, no problem with driving. I play the drums. Um, I have no problems playing the drums at all. It, my feet don't get tripped up. Um, standing in one spot without feeling like I'm unstable is a really huge deal to me. and. I love these braces so much. The results are commonly this dramatic. When we don't have a tool to replace calf group function or the plantar flexion strength of the patient, we tend not to evaluate the patient accordingly. With this dynamic tool to replace the patient's calf strength, we have to remember to grade the strength appropriately against the patient's body weight. With the ability to replace the patient's calf strength, 
we have to bring the lever system and the alignment of the foot into proper positioning. In doing so, we not only produce propulsion for the patient during ambulation, but we also give them back their standing balance. When the patient is positioned correctly and the strength of the calf group is replaced, the patient gains a feeling of stability as they load their weight into their extremity. This feeling of stability is key for the patient's confidence in being able to spend more time on that extremity. As the patient spends more time on the extremity, they gain back their ability to vary their cadence. The dynamic characteristics of the carbon fiber in this design are being utilized to control torsion in the transverse plane, as well as to create energy storing characteristics in the sagittal plane. This torsion helps to bring the patient back into the alignment of their weight line so they can use the lever system and feel confident and stable as they load their extremity. With this confidence, the patient is able to vary their cadence and move their center of mass across the room more efficiently, reducing their energy expenditure per step. Let's look back at the video of the patient ambulating, first pathologically. This time, let's pay attention to the amount of time he spends positioning his foot and preparing to load weight to that extremity. Then in the video of the patient walking with his orthosis, notice how quickly he moves his weight onto his extremity and how much longer he spends on that extremity with the confidence of stability from the orthosis, all while moving through normal biomechanics with no resistance or stops. It is the stable acceptance of weight in conjunction with the dynamic response of the calf group function that allows the patient to increase their proprioceptive balance on each extremity, ultimately increasing their functional outcomes in their ambulation. If you are interested in this, please look us up. We are anxious to bring this technology to everyone in the industry and help increase the functions of patients all across the country.